Thank you to Snakestone97 for their generous donation on Patreon. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Death and Taxes. I haven't played this in quite a while. Uh, last played this for, uh, you know, it started with the Halloween special, and now it's fucking gonna be May soon and shit, so... Uh, this, I believe, is supposed to be the run where we've already gone through once, and it's time I... I'm gonna actually double check real quick, because what I want this route run... The, I want this run, fuck, to be the... I do what I think is right route. But since this is day two, I want to make sure I'm being faithful to what the fuck happened last time. Alright, so on the last episode, I fucking just didn't kill anyone. Sweet. So I guess this time around, we really are just getting rid of people that we think suck. I hope you found your accommodations adequate. Here are the rules of the day. Follow them and you will be okay. A simple task to balance out the mishap of yesterday. One human with an info technology background has to die. Try to be careful. I still don't know quite what this thing does. Who the fuck is Alejandro Garcia, age 32, a digital sports commentator? Alejandro is well regarded due to their mesmerizing voice, quick wit, and hot, some say spicy, takes. They also express themselves through cosplaying as their favorite video game and television show characters. Alejandro is addicted to painkillers. Well, okay, so that does not mean you deserve to die, and all the other reasons are cool. So you're cool. You live. I'm, like, totally ignoring the fucking read me instructions, because fuck them. I'm just killing people that seem to suck. Feruza Williams, 40, an investor. Feruza is an avid investment enthusiast spending all their waking hours tracking stock prices and buying selling stocks randomly. Randomly? If you're gonna play that fucking game, you need to know what you're doing. Despite having zero knowledge of economics and no desire to learn, they keep successfully convincing people on social media to invest in Yitcoin. Well... <sighs> I could see you being bad for the fucking in the fucking economy. I don't think you deserve to die though. Like that's unless you could like lead to the crash of the economy because you're just recklessly playing around with fucking cryptocurrency. I'll I'll think about it. But first let's go to Olaf Rainer, 35, a designer. Music, dogs, and drinking. What else can one hope for in life? Olaf is one to enjoy the sweet life of a designer in a prestigious business IT company. They also enjoy making five second videos on the popular social media platform Wat Wat Wat. Okay, so that's a TikTok thing. Yeah, you got no reason to die, so you're cool, you're cool. You, though, you might be a problem. Randomly fucking with the stock market and you are really convincing people to fuck around. I don't think that deserves to die though but you could be a problem oh yeah i forgot we haven't even checked the phone uh window shopping for planets could this planet be our future home market experts warn against investing in yitcoin okay so i'm gonna have to kill you i'm sorry you're fucking with the economy and apparently that may is something to kill you over so you live you live and you gotta die apparently Ah, uh, okay. So let's see. Oh. Oh, okay, so you gotta like hover over... I can erase this if I want it. You can erase... You can, but you can only use it like once, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, eh, you're fine, whatever. Uh, what about you? You just... You decrease peace? What? What about you? Oh, fuck off. She increased shit. I made the to your good choice. Oh, that was the good thing. Mm -hmm. By killing them, you increase those stats. Oh, okay. So that means that by make letting this person live, peace goes down, and by letting this person live, the economy goes up, but the healthcare goes down. Mm -hmm. Confirm my choices. My choice is a final. Get the fuck out of my desk. All right, let's go see the boss. Does he even notice? Grim, how was the second day on the job? 
Yeah, it was good. Good. <laughs> so, did you follow the rules properly? Uh. <sighs> do we lie to him? Because we're not following the rule. Did we, though? Technically, we did. Wonderful. It is nice to see one so driven. Besides, what would happen if we fucking lied to him anyway? So whatever. Continue the good work and do not let tough choices get you down. Okay. Great indeed. We could use more spawns with your attitude. I don't see the reason well. to you will need it. be honest with him. See you. Sis oh, sorry. I cut him off. I'm sorry. Alright. You're fucking done. Two hundred dollars, baby! Anything in more? Charlie Roger! Again ye honor me, tiny abode, with your visit. Now is this a gerbil toy? Okay, I was told that the fucking snow globe does something, right? I'm gonna buy Well scuttle me both, why don't you? Clear as a crisp spring morn, I remember that day. Mm -hmm. In the cave at the bottom of an ocean. But was guarded by a horrendous beast. So had no choice but to underwater arm wrestle with the Kraken. <laughs> All eight tentacles. Damn. Afterwards, I met a hag with crow feet wrinkles on her face and wrinkled crow faces on her feet. What? She knew me well, though we had not met before. That's spooky. Gifted me this ominous glow. Maybe it was a warning of a kind. Maybe she just fancied me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, I did die man. About a week later. Oh. Well, that's good to fucking know. What is this ominous thing trying to tell me? I have no idea. What is it trying to tell me? Oh, it's showing me a lot of pluses. Oh my god, it's huge! A new day dawns. You ought to know the drill by now, but just in case, here, are another, here is another simple one. No special request today. Try to follow the rules and choose the appropriate profiles. Then send them to me by fax. Okay. Fuck off. Uh, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. There you go. Alright, we got five people. Let's see if any of them suck. Zachary Cooper, age 29. He's a glass blower. That's a cool job. Zachary can craft any glass sculpture, no matter how intricate. The latest piece was a circle made of 19 interla interlinked Klein bottles as a gift to an inventor friend. Aside from working with glass, Zachary enjoys volleyball, and they're trying to learn 3D modeling software on their own. Well, you are. <sighs> the smell of a freshly opened crayon box. God, that takes me back. It was simpler time. Yeah, Zachary is definitely living. You're cool. You're fine. Fuck, I just realized something. I wrote down a name to look out for just in case I saw it. Because I was warned in the last playthrough that a certain person fucked me over and I don't remember what that name was. I don't want to sit here for a thousand years scrubbing through it, so I guess this is what I'll get for not keeping that note. Anyway, Columba Hunter, age 47, an airplane pilot. Columba is a distinguished war veteran these days, working as a well-regarded passenger airplane pilot. They're happily married and have five children. As a hobby, Columba is extremely interested in the history of religious buildings. There's no reason to kill you. Who's next? Shannon Green, 27, unemployed. Shannon is a squatter and dumpster diver who likes to renovate old buildings in order to live in them with friends. They travel a lot by train and manage a community garden. You're cool. I got no problem with you. Leo Boyarski. Boyarski, sorry. 67 politician. You're, that's already a mark against you. Leo has been in politics for over 40 years, and in that time they've worked hard on relaxing the government's meddling in the real estate market. Although nobody has found proper proof, there have been rumors that Leo has been taking many bribes from a number of realtor agencies. You... Oh, fuck, where'd you go? Don't be hiding behind people, you're fucking dead. Especially right now, I'm trying to buy a house, I fucking hate the fact people are fucking with the real estate market. Maria Marisu, 32, a student coordinator. Maria works at the Central Cosmopolis University. 
where they offer administrative help and guidance to undergraduates. Sometimes they help organize academic events. Life keeps them busy, but they still try to find time to engage in their passion. Snowboarding! Yeah, yeah. Everyone here deserves to live. Hell, even the fucking real estate person is kind of like whatever, but like... Yeah, you're a fucking asshole, so I'm gonna kill you. Alright. Shannon Green, you live! Zachary Cooper, you live! Columba, you live! Uh-oh. One of the things just went negative. Fuck! What? Damn it! Maria? Marisu, you live? And Leo, you die? When I clicked Hunter, the fucking snow globe, the tree, started getting negatives. And healthcare doesn't seem to have anyone here at all. What the fuck is wrong? Columbo. Columbo, what the fuck happened? Oh, it's because he's a fucking airplane pilot, right? So, like, I guess the environment is fucked because of carbon emissions? Was I right about Leo, by the way? Yeah, that was a good choice. Uh, what about this person? Good choice. What about you? Good choice. And you? Very good choice. So... Uh, I am tempted. I am tempted to undo this, but, uh... I think I'm just gonna... I'm, I think I'm gonna let this one go. I, I think... One helicopter pilot, I think we can deal with that. Okay, my choices are final. Wait a minute. I didn't look at the phone. John Doe the Voice joins Parallax Digital Sports League as a full-time commentator. Well, good job. You get to keep that fucking job. Good on ya. And get the fuck off my desk. You ass munch. All right, Mr. Boss Man. Grim, my latest spawn. <laughs> Three days you have been with us. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel hungry all the time. How is that even possible? Probably some <laughs> of the psychic residue left over from the creation. Making a death is not simplistic alchemy. Uh -huh. Now, let me take a look at the files you sent in today. Okay. I see. You have marked fewer deaths than was required. Ah, uh, he caught me. He caught me, oh no! I do hope this will not become like a thing where I have to keep reiterating that you have made mistakes and that you should follow the rules to the letter. <sighs> because I really do not feel like doing it every day. Alas, if that is what it takes... That's not really a threat, this is you being annoyed. There really is not much else to say. You may leave. See you tomorrow. Bye. Alright, so that's the second time he's been like, Hey, what the fuck? No money for me. No money for me. Okay. What's in Prepare Mortimer? Prepare for a perilous adventure on the ocean of quality merchandising. Very nice. Got a cactus. The most brutal of plants. I love it. Uh, we got a calendar. The annals of transients help keep track of any passing temporalities. Keeps the days in a month from 1 to 28. Those are all the days. All of them. What is that? Just like keep track of how far along you are in the game? Well, I got fucking loads of money, so I might as well buy it. Blimey. If anything, just we to hear another story. We every inch for this calendar. Alas, mayhaps we raided too many merchant men for it. Because <laughs> turns out, it weren't even on a ship. Still worth it for the annals work on any year. Filled to the brim with arcane squiggles and short omens between the numbers. And in the footnotes. Also includes the major holidays of a hundred different civilizations. And all of the name days. <laughs> I finally procured it from an old man on the steps of Acropolis. Very nice. Uh, as far as the cactus, I yeah, I can afford it. Do I need it? Oh, hell yeah, I'll buy a cactus. Face your eyes upon this spiky boy. Spiky boy. You wouldn't believe how long I searched for it at the exalted land of cacti. Just to get me phalanges on one of these. Finally, unearthed it at the white desert of Mub. It Mub. did not start there, however, you see. Tis a traveling cactus. Ye never see it move. 
but boy, does it get around. <laughs> Traveling cactus, huh? I wonder if it'll just move all over the desk. That sounds funny. Let's see if this cactus squeaks. Whoa! It's like a rock note. Did you lie to me? Oh, hey, it did a little eh, fucking noise. That's cute. How are my piggies doing? There you are. Blink, blink, blink. Looks like it's starving. Do I have any money I can give you? It hasn't been giving me any coins. I don't want the piggy to starve. How do I feed the piggy? What are the instructions? Whether or not I'm going to follow them or not. I looked outside. There are far too many people walking around out there causing unforeseen discord. Time to rebalance the sheets. It wants me to kill three people and anyone, any younger people have to die. We have to get the chaos down to size, eh? Alright, so the calendar says that we are uh, on day four. I guess that's fair. Let's see what the phone says. All survived in plane crash due to skill for efforts of pilot. Nice! And I saved that pilot, even though it fucked up my tree a little bit. Um, local politician dead after being struck by a car. Police have not yet ruled out a deliberate hit. Uh, young glass blower from district number six experiments with 3D printed glass in their new exhibition called the Glass Aquarium. Nice! The world seems to be going well. Check out our snow globe. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Okay, so the tree is not doing good, but everyone else is doing okay. The flag's doing a bit better. So let's see how we can do even more good. Who do we got today? Let's start with Raven Kush... Kush... Age 29, a professional athlete. Raven is enjoying a moderately successful career as a deadlifter. They have a brother, Ronald, and a child, Mira. In their spare time, they like to go hi like going hiking and camping. Mira is constantly inspired by Raven's determination and wishes to continue in their footsteps. You live. You are very nice. Christopher... Christopher Quinn. <laughs> 21, a biology student. Christopher is extremely interested in reggae, music, and botany. Does these things somehow go together? <laughs> They recently got married and moved into Con Cos moved to Cosmopolis City with their spouse in order to dedicate themselves to study and work. Pothead, whatever. I don't got a problem with you. Rico Papillion. 34, email scammer and person without eyes. Rico has built a fully automated spam bot, sending thousands of emails a day. You're all oh, starting off so bad. Offering people riches beyond the wildest dreams, only if they share their credit card information first. It's a numbers game to succeed from time to time. You're dying today, asshole. I don't care that you have no eyes. Ashiwarya Sinclair, 34, a social worker. Ashiwarya has been working at the local refugee community, helping them get settled and figure out the particulars, the particulars of bureaucracy of the bureaucracy of Cosmopolis City. In the free time, they enjoy lengthy swims. They plan to write a series of novels about the labyrinth labyrinthine nature of bureaucracy. Grim, I am watching. You should mark this profile to live. Okay, I was gonna do that anyway, but sure, threaten me all you fucking want, asshole. Sarah is signing... Sarah... Cerise Hall. Sorry, age 29. Game designer and digital artist. Cerise has always had sensible ideas and fantastical visions, which is why the... Ow! Now in charge of developing the latest expansion to Planet of Peacecraft. Be World of Warcraft. And sorry about that random yell. I got a sharp, sharp fucking pain in my back. The expansion promises an even grander open world experience along with an epic tale of deceit and corruption. I'm cool with, like, you, these four uh, living and uh, Rico, the spammer, shall die. Raven? Okay, we're, watch the snowball. You live. Ooh, the negatives went away. That's nice. Christopher, you live? Hey, hey, we got more pluses. Ashiwara, you live? Still got pluses. Cerise Hall, you live. Fuck! Healthcare went to shit! Video games are bad for you! But Rico... Oh, sorry. Uh, you die. 
And nothing changed. Let's see the verdict of the lamp. Raven, good choice. Christopher, good choice. Ashiwaria, uh, sorry, hold up. Ah, go away! I want to see the peace sign. Okay, good. Cerise. Oh. Ooh, that might be worth erasing. Whoa, lamp! And what about you? Yeah, that was a good choice. My choice is final! The fuck off my desk! Grim, there you are. Let us be quick. Yes, I fucked up. So, Tell me. I see fewer marked deaths than was necessary. <laughs> yes. I have no choice but uh -oh. to hand out a reprimand, which comes with the usual punishments. Doc pay per mistake, etc. You already weren't giving me money, so this isn't really that big a I difference. I do not fully understand what you are planning to do with these small and trivial acts of rebellion. You are mainly just making it, up, it your more ass. up the ass, making it difficult for your ass. Oh, the cat's disappointed. Like I give a shit. I am quite busy tonight, so you can Maybe go. The cat is Until tomorrow, Grim. Grim. Could be. What well, we're Grim. I mean, fate. There you go. I forgot his fucking name. I just call him Lemon. The Lemon. Lemon. Oh uh, yeah, is the bar open. Nope. Mortimer! We what got! Howard? How can me humble and not at all adventurous okay. self assist you today? We got glasses, uh, and a fucking fidget spinner, and the gerbil. You like the gerbil? Uh, well, it's only 20. It's only 200. Blimey, we can how did this weed monster even get here? Tis not really all that valuable plunder. Hell no. Found a tiny fellow on the riverbanks of Styx itself. A lifeless, adorable thing. Can't imagine it being useful for anything. But sure makes delightful squeaks when he stroke it. Nice. That's gonna be it for this episode of Death and Taxes. On the next one, we will continue with day five, I think it was. Um, thank you all for watching. If you want to see more uh, stuff I've done, links are in the cards and on the end slate. If you want to subscribe, please do. Let me know what you think of uh, the way we're doing this route in the comments down below. And uh, with that, I'll be, uh, Bree. Hi, Bree. Hi. Say bye, Bree. Goodbye, people. Yeah. <laughs>